In today's video we are going to take a look at the vacuum cleaner that I picked up for somebody else because it was collection only on eBay and very close to me. What is it? Well it is a Hoover Junior. But perhaps a special Hoover Junior because I have been told this with its pumpkin front and raised Hoover Roundel is one of the first of the plastic hooded juniors. And we need to have a look at it and see what is what. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? This came from Oxford, actually just outside Oxford with a nice little 20 minute waft there, 20 minute waft back, lovely chap. Didn't quite see what all the fuss was about, because this, this came up from one of the Facebook groups, but it was collection only, and obviously that scuppers a lot of people and it was only after I said well I'll tell you what I'm too poor knowing what this will go for it actually went a bit less than I thought I can't afford it however happily go pick it up past a little video and then send it on as needed and that's what we've done and yeah it's a nice mate he didn't quite see what the fuss was about but yeah not my problem yeah and here we go so yes it has the raised hoover roundel in okay condition you would never ever replace that. This is a big shame about this damage here. You could probably, if you're very good with wet sanding, you could take that off and get rid of it completely. But I'm not very good at wet sanding, so I shall not be doing that. It has faded, as all of these seem to do. I did one for Manchester Vax last year, and it was very faded. But here is the ratings number, 1346, for I think 1967. From 1977, because these have been way on since then. But yeah, it's basically the predecessor to this one, which is from 1971, I do believe. So it's gained a height adjustment. It's obviously got a very different roundel. Way of doing. Obviously these things both fit each other, in fact that almost matches, but no, part of the reason this is rare is because of that pumpkin belt cover. It's only that, obviously the bits and bobs change, but yeah, basically this is what started all of this stuff off. So we shall get rid of that and concentrate on this, because it is very, very clean. Let us remove the cable, which is the original ribbed cable that was never brown on this. This was before they started fully colour coordinating, I think. So we have a ribbed cable, which I think is original. The way to tell is to put it down from the middle grommet. And yes, you can see that the cable itself has faded. It was once there, I don't know how well my camera's going to pick it up. It, it, it was actually brown, but obviously many years of fading has fortunately made it go grey, but it's still a perfectly good cable. We have a Hercules plug today, made in England. Not bad, let's pop the top off just to check it's wired up okay As you can always do, where is my screwdriver? here we go look, so we'll pop that in there undo the screw and ooh, there's a little bit of tape but I don't think that little bit of tape's doing anything bar tidying that up so I think we shall leave that oh look at this really old fuse look VF the little thing that this always interests you, this might have been the original plug. I don't know, I don't know where BS1362 is from, but yeah. Nice vintage fuse to go with our vintage plug to go with our, I suppose I, I have to call this vintage now. 
my idea of a vintage is very different to some people. People think that people tell me, "Oh, look at this vintage Hoover," they'll show me something from the eighties. Like it's not vintage; it's just old. This for nineteen sixties is possibly vintage now. We obviously, as a collector on my channel and others, we have seen many, many older machines than that. This is the bag. It's actually on, as you can see, the wrong way round with this bulge at the front. And yeah, we do need to sort that out. It's also quite worn, I suppose. It's certainly, it's not bad, but it's not great either. The top, I'll have a close look at this in a minute, but the, the top hook is also showing a little bit of use underneath. Well, first off, we have some superb brush strips. No idea if they're genuine or not, but superb brush strips. There is a superb belt. This is basically just a nice, honest machine. We'll have a quick look under there in a minute, although I can't see piles of fluff peeking out. So that is a fair indication. There is a good belt on it. I don't know what the bag situation is like. Let's have a quick look because I want to fire it up first before we go. Ooh. We have a cloth bag. A very posh. I don't know if it comes off, which we'll have to have a look. But yes, no, but we, we have a cloth bag in our Hoover. Which I've never seen before. Maybe it's a vintage pattern part which is entirely possible don't quite like them myself oh there's like there's two there's an inner slide and oh god why do i touch things yeah i can't say i i love cloth bags like this they're just ugh. but i don't actually have any other bags on me and it's not mine so it will stay and be replaced with i might have a bag might do actually. We shall have a look in a minute. For now, this will do because we're not using it that much. Anyway, so that that sort of just goes like that, really. <laughs> it's a bit. Let, let's try and attempt to make it go up there. Obviously, the bag needs to be flipped around, right? What's next? Well, the only other real thing to note is that the handle is on the skew with. That should be straight, but short of soaking it in boiling water, I cannot do anything about that. So yeah, whether it's that hoover round or should be on the front, it is actually on the side. <sighs> Probably years of use that is, I'll be honest. This has been picked up, put down, picked up, put down. I don't know when it was last used. The guy said he found it in his loft, but does remember it from before, so... sound too bad. Works very well. I'm not sure what that noise was when we turned it on there. He thinks the motor bearings might be a little bit dry. Yeah, very dry. Very dry motor bearings, but that's not the end of the world that would be very easy to look at so what I would like to do now let's just tilt you up a little bit is to add this bag off and try and turn it around the right way because it is very very annoying to look at so on this age of machine there is just a screw there that holds everything on we don't get to the you know the nice clamp until later that over there, we can also see it's got a metal air tube there rather than the plastic that they turned into. So that's a thing. 
That is not bad. Right, I do not know. Oh, look, right, so we do still have a belt. I don't know how this cloth bag's held on them. I think it's probably tied on from inside. In fact, I reckon if we turn this off, oh, God, it's quite dirty there. And just pull it down a bit, just so we can see. What is what? How is this held on? Or does it just slide up and off? There, there, there's definitely something holding it in place. But I don't actually know what it's holding in place. However, what I have just seen is the the early ones have this. That is actually a piece of foam all around the inside of the bag fill tube and that is what stops it from making the chink 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 sound as all the grit flies up. I personally quite like the chink 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 sound. Oh now this bag's been off before look because it's been held on with string. I wonder if oh that's handy look it does just turn so we can get away with this by just literally turning it 180 degrees. I think that's all it will need until it sits more like that with the bulge at the back. Now this bag is very, very thin. I can see you absolutely perfectly. You probably can't see me, but yeah, that's that's quite thin. But yeah, despite... There, look, you can see the fabric, but that's actually not horrific. I'll be honest, I do not like this bag at all but I don't really want to take it off because I've got nothing to replace it with. Right, well, there is something. Oh, it's coming off now because I've just gone past the point of... No, that is literally all it is. That could be a Vax 121 cloth bag. That really could. Don't like it. So we have to take it off now, so we do now have to do something. Luckily, the belt that holds a paper bag on is in place. And actually, I think I might have something that will fit. Hang on, and I shall go and find it. There you go. Thanks to Mr. Jared. I have some Type C bags from the USA, which should work absolutely fine, because obviously they are just with a weird American way of doing it, open-ended bag, so we can, if they're not, these aren't genuine, oh that's a good way of fitting it, I've never fitted one of these, that's on there really quite tight, I might mean that rolling this belt over it, that's a lot easier than it ever was on a proper UK bag, there we go, Biddy, that's very tall isn't it, let's see, Looks like this is do this screw. This screw is very rusty. This screw seems to have taken all the corrosion from the entire machine. It's taken one for the team. Right. There we go. I think this belt is a little bit worn because I can hear it. I can smell it struggling on this deep pile carpet. So it's, easy. it's just the V11 torque that struggles. Ah, there we go, that is more like it. Although the bag isn't sitting properly at all because it's it's really, really loose. Although it should inflate alright. <laughs> And we can actually use it to clean up its own mess.
That is clamping itself down something chronic. It's also actually making a right off mess of the machine as well. I might need to double check our fitment of that first before we go too much further with this video. So, I have put that on a little bit better. I don't think it's correct. It's just the wrong colour and a bit loose, but it is on better. We are on the thinner pile carpet now to see what the agitation's like. That's a bit too good because it's scattered them everywhere. So what we're going to do is put the front wheels into position two and see if that makes any difference at all. leaking something look at all the that's cheerio dust basically I think this isn't sealing itself quite as well as it could oh, hey ho right. oh that's not on at all there we go Let's have a quick quick peek at its undercarriage well, I don't think we're going to see much of a difference, really. But let's just unplug this. Why don't I put your finger across the terminals? Because as much as this is the first one, this will be the same as the 1334 that came before it in terms of motor and mechanicals. It's just the casing that they changed. So we lift this out. And we can see that its, it's spark pads actually not too bad got a big old suppressor fitted and apart from that look we can see the cable where it's brown now that's a metal air duct that got taken away this will turn to plastic although not for a while yet and yeah it's pretty good actually it's obviously been damp at some point because you can see on a couple of the screw heads that it's you know not quite as tidy as it could be. Let's pop a carbon brush out. And see what that looks like. It's not a genuine hoover one. So it's seen a pair of brushes in its tie, but that's very clean, isn't it? Nothing to worry about there at all. Knowing who it's going to, they will give it a nice full refurbishment. I don't think I will be doing this one. I, I, I haven't got time. I've got far too many other projects of other people's on the go. So as much as I would love to... But the guy's going to refurbish his own anyway, so it would be a bit silly for me to go to all my effort when he'll just do the same thing. But yeah, not bad at all. We'll put that back to position two where it was. Here. One, I don't know which is higher. Two, two is higher, one is lower. So the spring needs retensioning, it's very loose. Not bad, the hood isn't cracked at all. This is a very good condition for its age. Even the bag you can get away with. 
with the correct size bag for this, of course. Paintwork wise, a little bit of rust around the handle bail. And apart from that dust leak, which you, you, you could fix by sticking a big fat ring of silicon around the seal that's already in there so it clamps itself down much better. So that's not insurmountable either. Yeah, a very good condition find indeed. A little mini beast this is. This is love. It's nice to see machines like this still out in the wild. The guy had no idea that it was anything special. He was like, "It's an old Hoover." I thought it would do somebody a good turn. Not that it was, you know, very very rare. And apart from slightly iffy seal there, in fantastic order. It wouldn't take much to completely restore this to near new. The hood only has a couple of little light dinks and obviously there's no shine to it but you know it's not bad at all that's really quite good so yeah there we go then an original one three four ooh, ooh. i think that's more the handle bail needing a bit of lubrication than anything else it is quite difficult to push down and then it doesn't spring straight back up again which means that it's just yeah, the little pole that comes up and locks isn't quite as spring as it should be. So there we go, an original Hoover Junior 1346, not an A, not a 13456A, not a 12345678A, an actual original 1346, the first of the Plastic Juniors. So, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you soon. Bye bye.